Another American hostage, Nicholas Berg, did not make it out of Iraq alive. Nick was beheaded while being held hostage in Iraq. When I heard it, Nicholas Berg was captured and beheaded by Islamic militants. I collapsed on the ground. He killed your son. One more death in a senseless war. Michael Berg, the father of Nick Berg, who was beheaded in Iraq. Now Michael Berg is taking a stand. He's running for Congress. Michael is running as a Green Party candidate. Why is he doing it? And why now? Nick Berg died for the sins of George Bush and Ronald Rumsfeld. Family disputes claim son was never held in U.S. custody. It was clear the Iraqi police were only going to hold Nick until such time as they were told by U.S. authorities. This illegal detention is what cost my son his life. Michael Berg wants answers about his son Nick Berg's death. Won't anyone help me? I entered this race not because I desired a career as a politician, but to stop the war. Stop my son. Every 12 minutes, somebody dies. We are not supposed to bury our children. Nick was killed in revenge for the atrocities that George Bush encouraged. I have a great sympathy for Mr. Berg, and I, my, my heartfelt sympathy. When I get elected, it's going to send such a message that this nobody running with a party that has never won a national office finally did. And, uh, hey, you better start listening. I won't be happy unless this war is ended before the next person dies. I certainly don't want to get into any dispute with a grieving father. I was shot at on a bus in Washington, D.C. They say Michael Berg is a carpetbagger. They say Michael Berg is a boat splitter. Did you know that it was easier to get on the ballot in Iraq and Afghanistan than it is for Green Party candidates in the United States of America? People are dying to have democracy around the world, and yet we're limiting it here in Delaware. Mr. Berg, you are not listed as a participant. It's the only thing we can do since the Greens have not been permitted into the debates. I had to prove that there was voter interest in me. So we have to go and embarrass the people who claim they're about to walk our city. The offending words were phony peace organizations, and you'd have to be an idiot to say that. The idea is to try to help change the Middle East. Now look, the main reason we went into Iraq at the time was we thought he had weapons of mass destruction. It turns out he didn't. He's got that oil there, and he's got Halliburton and Bechtels and Lockheed Martin getting rich off of the blood of my son. The entire country is in an uproar over the war. I support Michael Berg for Congress because I believe he's a man of integrity, peace, honesty, and courage. Michael Berg may be the most exciting candidate that we're running for the United States Congress. We're here tonight to stand up for peace. I think it's pretty safe to say that this is going to be an uphill battle for you. 